All right, my rockin' red superheroes. So today we are making one of my very favorite things to make ever. We are making fresh pasta, agnolotti filled with ricotta cheese, sausage, and a burst cherry tomato and pancetta sauce. I have one pound of flour. Dump it out on your bench. So you start off like this, and we make a well, a big hole in the middle of our pasta. Make your well pretty big, okay? Because we're gonna start right like this. <laughs> this is a time you're allowed to have a messy board. Yay, uh -huh. this is really an excel in this one. We're gonna put five eggs right in there, two tablespoons of olive oil, right in there, and we'll do two teaspoons of salt. We're just gonna start beating our eggs in there. So what I'm doing is I'm just basically just making scrambled eggs in here. All right, so once my eggs are you know, all broken and that kind of stuff, I'm gonna go around the outside of my well and start combining flour. All right, or you can go from the outside and go right in. The faster you combine their flour, the, the less uh, chance that your eggs are gonna run away. And the whole idea is that we're just getting this all mixed up. All right, so you see what I've got going on here? Yes. Yeah, once it's kind of like this. And just, so right now we're just mixing. And scrape your bench as well, scrape your board so you get all like the, the crud and all that off the bottom. All right, looks like spaghetti, doesn't it? No. <laughs> All right, so now we're just gonna start to really combine this. Like, I'm not kneading yet, I'm just combining. So all these little, like, you know, little, sh these little shrapnel that's come off your hands, like, put them right in there. Okay, now, I'm gonna get this all combined. So look at, is my board clean again? Yeah. All right. So all of that goes right in there. So my dough is now combined. I'm now, I'm gonna start to knead. And when I say you need to knead, you really need to get on it. And when I say on it, I mean like mount your dough. Like <laughs> you, use your body weight and really, so, See what I'm doing here now? I'm using this, the heels of the palms of my hands, and I'm rolling. So, see this motion? Rolling, all right? Rolling, so I'm stretching it sort of and rolling. I'm gonna dust my board with some flour, all right? And I'm gonna knead that right on there. So I start to knead more flour into my dough, all right? So as I'm kneading it, I feel my dough start to tighten up. And so when this is done, when we're done kneading, this dough ball should feel smooth and supple, like our, our, us ladies, like our cheeks. I like to say also, it looks like the head of a Cabbage Patch doll. <laughs> you know, the preemies? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's exactly sort of that size. <laughs> and it should be that smooth. See, and so I can poke it, look it, and it springs right back. So whenever you uh, rest pasta dough or anything, we need to keep it covered. There we go. You time out. So I'm gonna dice about half an onion. All right. Onions are one of those sort of hardwares that are the base for lots of great flavors. So, in my pan, with some olive oil, and some what else? Gar oh. Salt, garlic. Salt, salt. please, yes, salt. thank you. All right. 
I'm gonna give a tiny little pinch of crushed red pepper too, because I like a little bit of spicy poke, like tick, 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 tick. hi, I'm here. It's kind of exciting rather than, you know, I don't want spicy. I want, hi, you know, just like a little warmth in the back of your throat as you continue to eat. So I have ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese is a great base for lots of kind of pasta fillings. Very mild, it's creamy, it's got a little bit of a grain to it, um, but it's a great base for lots of different pasta fillings because it's a very neutrally flavored stuff. I'm gonna add a bunch of Parmesan cheese. Uh oh, I'm gonna put an egg in here. Oops. All right, so I'm using mild Italian sausage. All right, so I'm gonna put that in, right? Sausage is really sticky. So we wanna just break it up and we wanted to get it crumbled around. All right, so in the meantime, I'm gonna pick my sage. There we go, and I'm gonna chop these up fairly finely. So I'm gonna throw my sage in now. turn my burner down a little bit and let it just keep on going. So I'm going to make a burst cherry tomato sauce. So I have these beautiful little cherry tomatoes, all kinds of different colors and shapes and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna cut these in half. All right, so look at my sausage. It's looking nice, isn't it? It's starting to look like nice and brown. So now though, look at this. Crud. Uh -huh. yeah. And what about that crud? You like yeah. it? You love it. You That's love it. brown food, brown isn't it? So how do we get that brown food off of there? Deglaze it, yeah. yes, hooray. Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy when you guys repeat me back to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna deglaze with some white wine. So white wine, um, is a bright acidic flavor. This is all salty and fatty. This helps my palate, um, you know, wake up again. This brings a nice acidity to things. There we go, all right. So I put in a little bit of white wine. You know, if you wanted to make like a vegetable filling you could, you know what I mean? Like if you wanted to saute some zucchini with some onions and throw it in your ricotta or something like that. So now I just turned my um, sausage pan off. Why am I letting it hang out and cool down for a little bit before I add it into my ricotta? Egg. It'll cook the egg. Yes, exactly. It might cook the egg and I don't want like little pieces of scrambled egg in my, um, in my ravioli filling. Now I have Pancetta. So, slices, right? Yeah. Sticks. All the same size. Do we know what this is? Basil. 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 So I picked them all off the stem, my leaves. I'm taking them and I'm making a little leaf pile up. And then I take them and I'm rolling them up. Now I'm gonna take my little basil roll up, slice it. And so this knife cut is called a chiffonade. Yes, and it makes these long, see these ribbons. So now I'm taking these ribbons and I'm just turning them 90 degrees and I'm doing that same slice through again. My sausage is cooled down enough now so I can add it to my filling. I'm gonna give my, uh, my saucepan a little bit of oil and I'm going to add my pancetta in there and I'm gonna turn it on a low burner. All right, so this thing is what we call the, you know, the pasta roller attachment. We're gonna roll our pasta through here multiple times. And remember, the bigger piece you start off with, the longer it's gonna get. We always keep the big piece covered. All right, otherwise this will dry out. I'm giving it a squash to start. 
All right, we're gonna flour this guy. All right, so I'm getting like a nice amount of flour on there. Okay, I'm gonna turn my mixer, uh, my, my thing on. So, here we go. Look, Matt, no hands. All right, and catch it on the back of your hand. Because if you catch it on the front of your hand, what do you get? Stretch marks. All right, so then, look at we put it through once. Let's flour it. Okay, I'm gonna fold it in thirds, like a letter. I'm gonna kind of pack it together. Okay, and we're gonna put it through, like sort of sideways, okay? Still on number one. Okay, and one more time, another little flower. We're gonna do one more letter, okay? Squish it back together, shut. All right, give it a little squish. We go back through, it's still on number one. So it's kind of like almost I'm giving it like an extra little knead. I'm gonna flower and fold this one more time, put it through like that again. All right, ugh, yes. All right, so now we're going to number two. I don't need to, it's, it will feed itself through, but catch it on the back of your hand. All right, now number three. Now, number four. We gotta go through all the numbers. All right, so I have my pasta dough just for something fun. So I'm pulling the really thick stems off there. Okay, so now I have my pastry brush, like very light water. We don't need a lot of glue here. So now I folded this in half and I'm at number five, so I need to back it up a couple numbers. All right, so see how my hands are? See how long my pasta is now? Whoa, ah, what do I do? So, all right, keep it covered, all right? Because if it dries out, you won't be able to use it. So my pancetta is looking really nice right now. Look at this. Yeah. So while I'm doing that, look at what I'm doing throwing my cherry tomatoes right in there. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so, so a little bit of chicken stock and we're just gonna let it keep on cooking down. I'm gonna give it some salt and I'm gonna give it a tiny little pinch of crushed red pepper. All right, and there it goes, it's cooking. My sauce is working. So now let's think about how do we get our filling into our annulotti? Squeeze it. All right, so I take my rubber spatula take some filling. I put it right in there. I have a sheet tray and I'm gonna just sprinkle a little semolina flour on there so I can lay my annulotti on there and they won't stick. So cut these into like manageable lengths, you know what I mean? What we're doing, just painting the bottom half of this, all right? So if this is like the equator, below the equator. I squeeze from the top, okay? So it's like this, squeeze, Stop, pull away. Squeeze, stop, pull away. Squeeze, stop, pull away. Now, we take this and we meet it where it started, okay? So look at that. I'm just folding it over. So then we take our pokers, all right, and we poke. And what we're doing is we're making sure that we have no air bubbles in there, right? Because if there's air bubbles in there, they'll float on top of the water, on top of your pasta water, and they won't be cooking, right? They need to be in the water all the way, all right? So poke, poke, poke. So they should look kind of like, you know, like, an, like a, a fried egg yolk almost, like the shape of that, you know what I mean? You know, I would recommend go like this, do it all along the bottom first then doing each every and every 
single one because you'll have a million little pieces of pasta that are around, fly, flying around your board like that. So look at that. That's one cut, two cuts. You know, and when you guys get good enough, you can go closer together so you don't have, your, we're not wasting pasta dough, you know what I mean? All right. So I'm gonna kind of like squish my tomatoes a little bit because I want those like beautiful tomato juices like to, to come out. You saw, you see like the tomato seeds and all that kind of stuff. All right. Now, you really wanna make sure your pasta water is at a rolling boil before you put your pasta in it. See, like nice boil like that. All right. So there we go. And you know, like your pasta needs room to swim. You know, it needs to dance in there. Don't crowd the pan. Like, let it be the pasta mermaid that it wants to be. But fresh pasta cooks really quickly. Okay, so look at this. Here we go. Okay. Oh, so you're just way. going by, right. it came back to a boil, mm -hmm. and then there's no other real indication. indication. I mean, it's, it's like very quick, fast cooking. It just is. All right, so look at this. Beautifulness happening, all right? So I'm stirring this around. So we see how our pasta and, you know, sauce, like they're still just kind of like, you know, living in sin. Yeah. 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 So. The cheese is what marries it. The cheese and the oil, the big fat finishing oil. So this is why I call it big fat finishing oil because, you know, it could be any brand or whatever, but just a really high quality olive oil that you don't want to cook. All right, so. All right, I would recommend for this, maybe use a rubber spatula so we don't hurt the ravioli, we don't break them. You know, stir it around a lot, vigorously. All right, so then the ravs and the sauce become one and they're like clinging to each other and they will never ever separate. I'm gonna stir in my basil. All right, so look at this, vigorously. Yeah, yeah. All right, get everybody together vigorously. So here we go. All right, and so then like, you just lay the sauce over it a little bit, you know, kind of drape it on there. So then one little finish of sprinkly dink of cheese. It's a little fresh basil on the top. And there we go, voila, okay? Ooh.